Let's get started. Today we will learn some names of shoes and boots in English. Oxford shoes A style of shoe usually constructed of leather that is characterized by a low heel and fastened using laces. They are also low cut exposing the ankle of the wearer. They are considered formal dress shoes for men. Monks This is a style of shoe that has a strap and is fastened by a bold metal buckle. Single strap monk shoes are generally more common. Saddle shoes These are typically made of leather and are commonly white with a dark blue saddle shaped panel placed midfoot. They also have low heels and a plain toe. Ankle boots These are a style of boot that are short and only cover the foot and ankle. These are considered versatile and rather sturdy. Boat shoes A style of shoe that is low cut is fastened using laces and has white soles. The upper part of the shoe has piping around the edges. Derby shoes A style of boot made of leather with separate leather eyelets on the upper part of the boot. This style of construction is known as open lacing compared with the Oxford shoes which have closed lacing. Brogues or wingtip boots A style of boot with open lacing, a pointed toe cap and wingtips that extend from one side of the shoe to the other. Furthermore, they feature decorative perforations in the upper part of the shoe. They were originally considered outdoor footwear because the perforations allowed water to drain quickly. Chukka boots These boots typically feature two or three pairs of eyelets, suede or leather uppers and rubber or leather soles. They have open lacing like the derby shoes and are ankle high. Buckled shoes A style of shoe that has a closed toe, a strap and is fastened using a decorative metal buckle. Military boots or combat boots A type of ankle high boot made of hardened leather which is sometimes waterproof. It was originally designed to be worn in combat by soldiers. Some combat boots are specialized for certain terrains, for example, desert boots or jungle boots. Cowboy boots These shoes are typically constructed of leather. They have a pointed toe and short heel. They end somewhere above the ankle but below the knee. They were originally made for horse riding but are now worn for fashion as well. Hiking boots Hiking boots are typically made from leather, feature gripping rubber soles for traction across a wide variety of terrains and lace-up designs for a flexible fit. Usually they are ankle high but some go up to the knee. Some hiking boots are also insulated or waterproofed and offer protection in an even wider variety of outdoor environments. 
loafers a type of shoe without shoe laces or any other kind of fastening system they are worn by simply sliding a foot into them they have a very low heel or no heel at all they are casual shoes worn by men women and children Wellington boots A type of boot that covers the foot and calf reaching almost up to the knee. They are characterized by a seam below the ankle and a seam down the side. They have loops at the top to help in pulling them on. Nowadays, they are made of rubber or PVC and are worn for protection in wet and muddy conditions. They are also paired with shorts or mini dresses and worn for fashion. Chelsea boots. A style of boot that is close fitting and goes up to the ankle. It has an elastic side panel which makes it far quicker and easier to wear than traditional lace up boots. and often has a loop or tab of fabric to assist in pulling it on safety shoes or safety boots or work boots these are personal protective equipment ppe for the protection of feet in certain workplaces where there's a possibility for foot injury typically They are made with tough materials, are around ankle high and feature a steel toe cap. Biker boots or motorcycle boots. A style of boot associated with motorcyclists. Typically, they are made from thick heavy leather, energy absorbent padding. and load spreading materials to protect the legs and feet of the rider in case of an accident they are generally ankle high and have a low heel to make it easier to control the motorcycle trainers a low cut shoe with a rubber sole used for running and in lots of other sports They can be fastened with laces or velcro and are made in a wide variety of colors and from lots of different materials. They are also worn as casual everyday shoes. Ugg boots. Ugg is a brand name that has now become identified with a certain style of shoe. But Ugg didn't invent it. The boots were originally created in Australia, where shepherds used leather straps to keep sheepskin around their legs and feet. Snow boots or winter boots. A boot specially designed for snowy weather. It can go from anywhere above the ankle to almost below the knee. Generally, it's insulated and waterproof. It also features high sides to prevent the snow entering the boot. Riding boots. A style of short boot used whilst horse riding that comes up just above the ankle. Generally, they have a heel that's about an inch high to prevent the rider's foot from sliding through the stirrup. A sturdy toe protects the rider's foot and a lightly textured sole ensures the rider doesn't get their foot caught in the stirrup in case they fall. Russian boots A type of boot originally worn by Russian soldiers. They feature a wide heel, flat top and are knee length. They were usually made of thick sheep's wool felt.
The boots uppers were loosely constructed, which is what produced the distinctive wrinkling effect around the ankles. When brand new, they have no differentiation between the left and right feet. Initially worn to combat the extreme cold of Russian winters, they are now found in winter fashions all around the world. Moccasins A moccasin is a type of shoe made of sheepskin, deer skin or other soft leather. Its sole is turned up on all sides and then stitched to the upper in a simple gathered seam. It has no heel. The sole is soft and flexible and the upper part is often adorned with beading or embroidery. It's sometimes worn indoors but is primarily made for outdoor use. Galoshes or overshoes Galoshes are a type of waterproof boot, generally constructed of rubber, that are made to slip over regular shoes, to prevent them becoming wet and muddy. They are designed for both men and women, so that they can protect their footwear. Calf boots A calf boot is any boot that goes above the wearer's ankle and ends somewhere below the knee. Calf boots are made in a wide variety of styles with varying heights and heels. Some famous calf boot designs are Wellington boots and cowboy boots. Suede shoes Suede shoes are made from a high quality form of leather made from the underside of the animal hide such as deers, goats, sheep and calves. It's characterized by a soft fuzzy surface and is popular for a wide variety of fashion items like shoes, purses, furniture and jackets. Sea boots or sailing boots A style of waterproof boot designed to keep the feet and legs dry on board boats and ships and to keep from slipping on the wet and rolling deck. They are normally constructed from Gore-Tex leather or rubber. They also have non-marking slip resistant soles to avoid damage to the deck. They are thinner than Wellington boots and require thermal socks to keep the feet warm. Ballet shoes or ballerina flats or ballet slippers. A type of shoe especially designed for ballet dancing. They are most often made from soft leather, canvas or satin and don't have a heel. Traditional ballet shoes have a leather sole which does not reach to the edge of the shoe. Generally, Ballet shoes are secured with a single elastic band across the foot but some have a double band that crosses in an X shape at the top of the arch. Traditionally, women wear pink shoes and men wear white or black shoes. In modern ballets, skin-colored shoes are sometimes worn by both men and women. Court shoes A style of shoe with a low cut front, a long very pointed toe and a medium heel height. They feature a buckle or black bow as ostensible fastening. They originated many hundreds of years ago and were worn in the royal courts which is why they are named thus. Pumps Pump are any shoe that fits snugly around the heel and toe and have a high heel. Pumps are a variation of court shoes 
Unlike court shoes, pumps can have a lot of different toe styles. For instance, there are pointed toe and rounded toe pumps. They are also designed in a wide variety of colors. Flat shoes Flat style shoes can be any type of shoe that has no heel or a very low heel. For instance, styles like loafers, oxfords or sandals with no heel are called flat shoes. Knee high boots A style of boot that goes up to the knee, sometimes slightly under or over, and are generally tighter around the leg shaft than the top. Most are worn by just pulling them on, but some styles may be fastened with laces or buckles. When worn for fashion, they can be paired with skin-tight jeans, mini dresses and skirts to accentuate the shape of the legs. Some well-known styles of knee-high boots are biker boots or wellington boots. Thigh-high boots or thigh boots or over-the-knee boots. Thigh boots are boots that extend over the knee to at least mid-thigh, generally they have a zipper to assist in pulling them on, but some are made to be directly pulled on. Most are either flat or have at least a 3 inch heel, but heel heights can vary. Mary Janes A style of shoe that has low or no heel and a broad and rounded toe box. It's fastened with a single strap across the top of the foot which is secured with either a button or buckle. Classic Mary Janes are made from black leather. Modern platform style Mary Janes have a block heel. Traditionally worn by girls as part of school uniform, they are now worn by adults as well. Peep toe shoes A shoe designed for women that has an opening at the toe box which allow the toes to be seen. They are usually like pumps but peep toe styles can also be made in flats, kitten heels, high heels and even ankle boots. Jelly shoes A style of shoe constructed of semi-transparent PVC plastic which gives them a jelly-like sheen and they are frequently infused with glitter for an even more lustrous shine. They are made in a wide variety of colors. Originally a fashion trend in the 1980s, they are now being revived and reinterpreted by high-end fashion designers. Kitten Heels A heel that is thin and short, around 1 inch high and with a slight curve which sets the heel in from the back edge of the shoe. It's famously associated with Audrey Hepburn who popularized the style. Kitten heels may be an alternative for those who find it too uncomfortable to wear high heels. They are also worn by teenagers who might be considered too young to wear high heels. Stiletto shoes A type of shoe designed for women with a long thin high heel. The heel may vary in length from 2.5 cm about 1 inch to 25 cm about 10 inches or more if a platform sole is used. They can give the illusion of a longer slimmer leg, a smaller foot 
and make the wearer appear taller. Sandals A type of open footwear comprising a sole which is held to the wearer's foot by one or more straps going over the instep and around the ankle. Sandals sometimes also have a heel. As most of the foot is left exposed, people tend to wear sandals in warmer climates or during summers to keep their feet cool and dry. Thank you! Hope you found this video interesting and informative. We welcome your valuable feedback. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel. Take care.